There is not a whole lot that our next guest can't do. He can make you laugh, he can make you cry, he can make you feel, he makes you think, he's funny, and he has an infectious zest for life. You will see all of these extraordinary qualities that make him one of the best connectors and television hosts in the game on full display today as he launches a new series called House Guest. Take a look. I can tell you've been holding on this for a while. I have. To answer your question about dating, like, I'm ready. Let's say we just put some things out on a board. Am I naming somebody? <laughs> wow, am I canceled for that? I'm talking to you, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think is the best movie? Right. Sister Act 1 or 2? That's tough, too. <laughs> All right. Scott Evans is an Emmy-nominated television host known for his work on Access Hollywood and Access Daily, Couple to Thruple, World of Dance, and America's Big Deal. He's also a producer and he's a creator with his own production company, Summer Break Studios, which is bringing you house guests, amongst other projects that they have in the works. He's a community advocate. And he's so many other hyphenists, we don't even have time to mention. Wherever <laughs> Scott goes, Scott brings the light of the sun with him. And we're so happy that he's shining his light on all of us this morning, right here on Good Day LA. What's up? Good morning. What's up, Melvin? Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I cannot stop grinning. This is incredible. Thank you so much for having me. I'm going to also tell you right now, I'm not used to being on air this early in the morning. <laughs> I Welcome. Mean, oh, my God. Forgot what it was like. It's early. My Lord. And some days you feel it more than others. Oh, you feeling today, it today? <laughs> today, do I, you know, was just in, in Miami for American Black Film Festival. Yeah. Was in New York for Native Son. Now back here uh, for, for the launch of House Guest. I cannot be more excited. Could not be more excited to be here with you sharing the launch of this incredible, incredible show. Incredible effort. Yeah. And hopefully shot of light in what can otherwise feel like a really dark time. It really is a dark time. I think you can't help that. Wherever you go, you bring that. So it's inevitable that we're going to experience that on the show. You also were really intentional about wanting to release it today on Juneteenth. Yes, I was. I, we, we are. You know, the, our, our team is a mighty team of three. <laughs> okay, so I want you to also realize, realize when you see what you're seeing on House Guest and even Poolside Sessions there with Josefina, it is a team of three of us, you know what I mean? When, when, on production days, we, we balloon a little bit more, but it is three people putting this together with love, with care, and, and, and hopefully um, something that will resonate with, with more and more of us. But in particular on Juneteenth, we wanted to put a shot of of the be a blast of the best energy out there, yeah. you know, really kind of cementing this series and its intention to be some some light, some joy in what can otherwise feel like some really downtrodden. You can't cuss on this show, right? No, you can't. Okay. Sometimes I want to. Though. Yeah, I was going to say, but like when you talk about the where we are right now, it can it can be difficult to not want to, right? Yeah. And so we really wanted this to be a place where you could you could turn this show on, and it would feel like you were hanging out with good friends, and maybe giving you a little bit of a, a, a little bit of push, a little bit of zest, a little yeah. bit of energy, some love to continue your day, to continue in whatever way you are helping to make this place a better place. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like what you say too in the trailer. Come for the fun, stay for the joy. Stay for the joy. Yeah. Stay for the joy. Yeah. And, and you know, the, the, you gave me this book about black boy joy. Mm. You you uh, imparted on me the importance of never really forgetting that. And so at the core, mm. at the core of this is that. And so launching on Juneteenth was kind of like not even a no-brainer. It was like, oh, this is when we're launching. Yeah. This is when we're launching. So we stayed, I mean, it was, it, it was days of edit, days of, of, of rushing to make sure that we had the right thing to launch with. And Kevin Fredericks, you also know him on Instagram, Kev on stage, I mean, uh, of Churchy on BET yeah. Plus fame. But this, this guy has been a creator. He has been a elevator and amplifier. And so I thought, I thought no better person yes. to launch our series <laughs> with than my man, yeah. Kev on stage. Yeah. AKA Kevin Fredericks. The episode is so much is so full of insights on how he self-financed his own show on BET that be, that uh, became a part of BET. How he really bet the farm, yeah. so to speak, on doubling down on himself. On I believe in us. I believe in what we're doing here. Uh, if you are a dreamer, if you are a person who believes yourself to be in pursuit of a passion, I think you will be invigorated by his story. But we also have. So much fun. So every episode, you'll get food, you'll get some drinks. Mm -hmm. Some games, I saw. Some games. Yes. So it accidentally became, I was at the grill and I was like, is this Barefoot Contessa? I feel like, <laughs> you know, like, so tonight I've got a friend coming by. Yeah. And he loves 
a good beef burger. Uh -huh. The the debate of how do you like your steak cooked when you have meat at a restaurant? How do you order? Not it? well done. I heard I heard y'all talking about. Okay, first of all, I don't like the judgment in your tone. <laughs> I, <No. laughs> I don't like. I didn't ask you what you don't. How you don't have it? I said, how do you order? <laughs> don't your food? don't bring her into this. Oh no, no. <laughs> she brought. Don't into bring this. Amanda into yeah. this. No, Amanda is here. Yes, because yeah. <laughs> I believe I believe I have an ally. Yes. Say and Amanda. That's right. I, well, I like a well done something sometimes. Yeah. Thank you. Here's what I want to know. When did you know that you were a good connector with people? I mean, I don't I don't know. I don't know that that's I don't know that. I think what I am is a amplifier. I think what I am is a person who sees um, the joy, the light, the passion, and the purpose in people, and I, I draw that out somehow, right? And I, I seek that out, and I mean to um, uh, boost it in so many ways. You know what I mean? In in so many ways, I think it's also been my my experience in my own life. And so when when I think about the things that I've wanted to do in my life, the things that the, the dreams that I've had, the people who have risen to meet and hurl me forward. Yeah. I mean to do that every step of the way. And so House Guest really is just the next phase of that. I was, to be honest with you, Melvin, I was tired of hearing no mm. in pitches, tired of hearing no in development meetings, tired of hearing, oh my God, we love you. We would love to, we would love to ha try to make something happen, but maybe this isn't the thing. And instead of waiting for someone to say yes, we decided now was the time. I don't know who needs to hear that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you are out there and you are thinking about some dream that you have or some opportunity that you might have missed or how you believe that no one out here is creating space for you. House Guest is an example of creating space for yourself. Mm -hmm. And I, I did it with my home and, and I'm doing it with my friends and, and people that I admire and that I believe are out here with a similar mission. And so I'm saying to you right now, if you waiting on somebody, baby, we waiting on you. Amen. Let's get it. I'm happy. You know I'm, I'm happy because I didn't even have to ask you to do that because you did that. That's what I was asking you to do. Great. And you know what? Thank you. And you are such an example, Scott, of leaning into being vulnerable, being courageous, and putting yourself out there. And it's really easy to have something in your mind, but all of us, we're like afraid because you, you have to be vulnerable and then you're subjected to people's opinions and yeah. it's your own personal work. Yes. But in your own personal space. That's right, but you're just, you're phenomenal. And you're you an inspiration to so many people. You can catch House Guest on YouTube. The first episode drops today, everybody. The new episodes debut every single Wednesday. Every other yes. Wednesday. Every other Wednesday, sorry. Every other Wednesday, every, every other Wednesday. Look at Wednesday. Every, every other Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, we're, we're gonna need more than three we're people. Gonna, <laughs> we're gonna take a short break, but first, here's Amanda with today's hookup. And real quick, I just wanna say, I've done many junkets and red carpets next to Scott. He's a class act. He will share his Altoids or any mints that he has with other reporters. <laughs> So Scott, it's true. It's true. Mad love to you. Right. We have to love to you. Uh, 